Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK science teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your science class. My dear students, as we know that we are on chapter number one and the name of our chapter is Characteristics and Life Processes of Organisms. And today I will deliver its seventh lecture. In today's lecture, uh, we will discuss about classification of animals, similarities among vertebrates and invertebrates. So my dear students, we have living organisms, ki, plants and animals ki different characteristics in the previous lectures. Mein baat ki thi. Aaj hum animals ko jo hai, wo classify animals on the basis of vertebrates and invertebrates and we will see similarities dekhenge. So my dear students, now let's move forward towards the recap of the lecture. So, look at the pictures carefully and then answer. How animals respond? Very good. How plants respond? Excellent. Now tell me what are the excretion of animals and plants? Very good. So my dear students, now let's move forward towards the student learning outcome for today. Now in today's lecture, the students will be able to classify animals in terms of vertebrates and invertebrates with examples and analyze differences and similarities in vertebrates and invertebrates. Today we will discuss about the similarities and the classification on the basis of vertebrates and invertebrates. So my dear students, um, now let's move forward towards an activity. So look at the pictures very carefully and then answer these questions. So here you can see different animals, sea animals, and then you can see a bird, a fish. Now quickly tell me that what are classifications of organisms? Grouping of animals is called classification because there are different types of animals. Here you can see some fly, some swim, and even under the sea, you can see that animals are very different types. Ke hote hain. Here you can see the corals, here you can see a jellyfish, then here you can see a fish, and then a parrot. And in this way, birds are very different kinds. Ke hote hain. So, in animals, we group kar dete hain, and this grouping of animals or living organisms is called classification. So, my dear students, what are invertebrates? Jaldi se dimaag pe zor dalein, aapne previous classes mein invertebrates ke baare mein padha hai. Animals without the backbone are called invertebrates. Or animals with no bones are called invertebrates. Now quickly tell me what are vertebrates. Animals with a backbone or animals with bones are called vertebrates. Okay. ऐसे जानवर जिनके अंदर हड्डियां नहीं होती उनको इनवर्टिब्रेट्स कहा जाता है और ऐसे एनिमल्स जिनके अंदर बोन्स मौजूद होती हैं बैकबोन भी होती है जो हमारे यहां मौजूद होती है सेंटर में बैक पे दीज आर कॉल्ड वर्टिब्रेट्स सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स क्विकली मूव फॉरवर्ड टुवर्ड्स द इस्लामिक पर्सपेक्टिव सो क्विकली हैव लुक दैट एंड लुक एट द बोन्स हाउ वी रेज देम एंड देन वी कवर देम विद फ्लैश so my dear students, Allah Ta'ala ne janwaro ko, insano ko hadiyon se bhi banaya hai aur kuch janwaro ko bagayar hadiyon ke bhi banaya hai aur phir Allah Ta'ala ne in hadiyon ko support ke liye insan ki banaya hai taake wo aur janwaro ki bhi taake wo chal phir sake aur phir hadiyan jo hain aap hi dekhe ke inko kitni khubsurti se gosht ke saath dhaap ke phir uske upar skin hame di hai so my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the pre-reading question so listen to the question carefully and then answer what is similar in vertebrates and invertebrates. So my dear students, now, kuch animals jo hai, unmei hadiyan hoti hai, kuch mei hadiyan nahi hoti, but both are, um, lekin unmei kuch similarities bhi hoti hai, to aap soche ke kya similarities ho sakti hai. Both need energy and food to live, both need air, both need water to survive, both need shelter, so these are different Similarities among vertebrates and invertebrates, yani ke even sab mein kuch mein bones hain, kuch mein bones nahi hain, but still in mein kuch similarities bhi hain, yani ke kuch yaksaniyat bhi hai. So my dear students, now let's quickly move forward towards the reading. So I request you all to please open page number 9 in your science 4 books. I hope everybody has opened the page. So my dear students, now let's uh, start the reading. Classification of animals. Classification is grouping of organism based on some similar characters. 
to make their study easy. One of the ways to classify animals is based on the presence of the vertebral column that categorize animals into two groups that is invertebrates and vertebrates. So my dear students, we animals and plants are so many different ways that we have to study them in a group. Like if you go to school, then one class of children are similar age, so they have one class. Mein rikh diya. टू क्लास के बच्चे सिमिलर एज के होते हैं तो उनको टू क्लास में रख दिया सो so, इस तरीके से हर एज ग्रुप के बच्चों को पढ़ाना जो है वो आसान हो जाता है ये मैंने आपको एक एग्जांपल दी है अब आप इसी एग्जांपल को जरा प्लांट्स और एनिमल्स के ऊपर लगाएं कि अब एनिमल्स और प्लांट्स को स्टडी करने के लिए हम सिमिलर तरह के एनिमल्स को एक ग्रुप में डाल देंगे बाकी सिमिलर तरह के दूसरे ग्रुप में डाल देंगे सो so, इस तरीके से इनको स्टडी करना आसान हो जाएगा तो एनिमल्स को ग्रुप करने का सबसे बेहतरीन तरीका है कि उनके अंदर जो बैकबोन है here is the backbone you can turn around and you can touch it so this is the backbone to jinke andar backbone present hoti hai ya jinme bones present hoti hai they are called vertebrates so jitne bhi bones wale vertebral column wale animals hain unko hum vertebrates mein dal denge whereas which do not have this vertebral column jinme bones nahi hoti unko hum dusre group mein dal denge which is called invertebrates so is tarike se dono groups ko study karna bahut zyada aasan ho jayega now Let's quickly move forward. Invertebrates are the animals without vertebral, vertebral column or the backbone, such as sponges, corals, starfish, jellyfish, etc. The body of such animals is flexible. So, my dear students, animals in care the vertebral column or bones present nahi hoti. So, these animals are called invertebrates. Inki body is flexible hoti hai. Inki example hai corals, starfish. Iske lava sponges, so these jellyfish, these are all invertebrates. Iske lava different insects hai, jaysi ke cockroaches, beetles, these flies, mosquitoes, these are also invertebrates because they have no bones in them, they have no vertebral column in them. Next is vertebrates. Vertebrates are the animals with the vertebral column, such as fish, frogs, alligators, birds, mammals, they have rigid skeleton. So my dear students, now vertebrates. Vertebrates are such animals in which the vertebral column present hota hai. Inka internal jo hai wo framework hota hai aur inki example hai frogs, crocodiles, lizards, snakes, birds, alligators. These are all mammals like cows and goats. These are all vertebrates. So my dear students, now uh, on page number 9, there are similarities among vertebrates and invertebrates. I request you all to please open the page. I hope everybody has opened the page. So now let's start it. Both groups of animals, vertebrates and invertebrates, possess all the characteristics of living things. So, sabse pehle to dono hi living things hai. The expression of some characters uh, though are different in both groups, some of the similarities have been given below. So my dear students, in ke andar bohut sare differences hain, lekin in mein kuch similarities bhi hain. So aaj hum in ki similarities ko, yani ki jo in mein cheeze same hain, aaj hum unko discuss karte hain. Members of both the groups need food. Jaysa ke mainne aapko bataya, dono ko energy chahiye, to dono ko food chahiye. Members of both the groups can move. Dono jo groups ke uh, members hain, they can move from one place to another. Members of both the groups reproduce. Dono hi reproduce karte hain. They produce young ones to continue their races. Members of both the groups respire and excrete. Dono mein hi breathing process bhi hota hai. Aur waste product ko bahir bhi nikalte hain through excretion. Members of both the groups have bilateral body symmetry. However, members of a few subgroups of invertebrates show radial symmetry. Examples of such members include C anemone, jellyfish and octopus. So they have radial symmetry where have uh, baki sab ke andar bilateral symmetry hoti hai. Yani ke aap inko easily uh, yani ke I have a bilateral symmetry. Yani ke I have one hand here and the other hand here. Isi tarah meri two legs hai jo ke ek is side pe ek is side pe I can easily be divided into two halves. So this type of symmetry is called bilateral symmetry. So my dear students what you need to know is you have studied about symmetry in mathematics grade 3. In science, symmetry is the 
repetition of body parts in orderly manner. It is de determined using an imaginary plane passing around a central point in the body. Symmetry is of two types, bilateral and radial symmetry. So my dear students, um, symmetry एक ऐसी चीज होती है जिसके अंदर आप इक्वली जो है वो डिवाइड कर सकते हैं टू हाफ्स में किसी भी ऑर्गेनिज्म को सो साइंस में सिमेट्री जो है वो इस तरीके की होती है बाकी आपने सिमेट्री जो है वो मैथ्स uh, के अंदर भी पढ़ी हुई है सो बॉडी शेप्स दैट आर मिरर इमेजेस अलोंग अ मिडिल लाइन आर द बायोलेट्रल सिमेट्रिकल बॉडीज सो है यू कैन सी दीज टू आर बायोलेट्रल सिमेट्रीज क्योंकि ये मिरर इमेज है इसके वन आर्म दोनों साइड पर है और दूसरी साइड पर भी है यानी कि आई एम अ मिरर इमेज ऑफ माई सेल्फ इफ यू विल कट मी फ्रॉम हाफ आप एक लाइन यहाँ से इमेजनरी लाइन ड्रॉ करें सेंटर से देन यू कैन सी दैट आई हैव मिरर इमेज यानी कि मैं इस साइड से भी इस तरह की दिखती हूँ दोनों साइड मेरी सेम लगती हैं सो दिस इज कॉल्ड बायोलेट्रल सिमेट्री ओके नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रेडियल सिमेट्री द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ बॉडी पार्ट अराउंड अ सेंटर एक्सेस इज कॉल्ड रेडियल यानी कि एक सर्क्यूलर सिमेट्री में इसको हम कहते हैं सो दिस इज अ रेडियल सिमेट्री जो कि एक सर्कुलर फॉर्म में होती है सो दिस टाइप ऑफ सिमेट्री इज कॉल्ड रेडियल सिमेट्री सो आई होप नाउ यू टोटली अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द सिमेट्रीज सो दोनों के अंदर ही वर्टीब्रेड्स और इन वर्टीज में वर्टीब्रेड्स में बायोलेट्रल सिमेट्री होती है बट सम ऑफ द इन वर्टीब्रेड्स ऑल्सो हैव रेडियल सिमेट्री सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म इज इन टू टू टाइप्स टू ग्रुप्स that is vertebrates and invertebrates one is without backbone and the other is with backbone so invertebrates are the uh, animals without backbone they have no vertebral column and the examples are corals starfish jellyfish these are all the examples of invertebrates now let's have a look at the vertebrates so vertebrates are the organisms with a vertebral column yani ki inke andar backbone present hoti hai so the examples of such organisms are fish frog and all the mammals elephants zebras lions these are all vertebrates so my dear students now let's quickly move forward the birds and the crocodiles these all come under vertebrates so my dear students now let's have a look similarities among vertebrates and invertebrates just let's quickly recap ke dono mein similarities kya hain both need food both can move from one place to another both can reproduce both can excrete yani ki waste product jo hai ye apni body se nikalte hain and they also respire yani ki inme breathing process bhi hota hai both have bilateral symmetries animals with bilateral symmetry can be divided into equal halves left and right in one plane okay so this is a bilateral symmetry so aap you can see ki aap isko equally half mein divide kare to this is the mirror image ek jaise hai dono halves whereas this has a radial symmetry this sea anemone also has a radial symmetry so some of the invertebrates have radial symmetry also Okay my dear students now is the time for evaluation quickly listen to the questions and then answer them so quickly tell me that what are invertebrates very good animals without backbone what are vertebrates animals with backbone so what are similarities among invertebrates and vertebrates both need food both can move both can reproduce both can respire and excrete so these are some similarities among uh, vertebrates and invertebrates Okay my dear students now is the time for practice so for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so write down your name and your roll number then choose the true or false vertebrates are animals that do not have bones false invertebrates have bones false a giraffe is a vertebrate animal true a duck is an invertebrate animal false okay write vertebrates or invertebrates in given boxes so here you can see some animals and their pictures so you have to write down which are vertebrates and which are invertebrates a crab it is an invertebrate a dolphin it is a vertebrate a snail invertebrate snake vertebrate 
Snake is vertebrate, my dear kids. Spider, invertebrate. Jellyfish, invertebrate. Now fill in the blanks. Animals with backbone are called vertebrates. Animals without backbone. Animals with backbone are vertebrates and animals without backbone are invertebrates. Very good. So my dear students, now let's quickly note down the homework. So for homework, make a chart on similarities of invertebrates and vertebrates. So because you have both of similarities, you have known it. So now make a chart on it. Every student will make a chart on it. You can also paste pictures with vertebrates and invertebrates, their similarities. And then present it in your class. The best chart will be displayed in the class. So my dear students, now is the time for wrap up. Today we have learned that Organisms are divided on the base of vertebral column into groups, vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates having vertebral column have rigid body. Invertebrates without vertebral column and flexible body. Both need food and can move. Both reproduce, respire and excrete. Both have bilateral symmetry and expects, uh, except some groups of invertebrates that have radial symmetry. So my dear students, now I hope you have enjoyed the lecture and now you know about the classification of animals into vertebrates and invertebrates. So my dear students, um, keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.